Alright, but welcome back to talking about what you guys actually want to hear us talk about, or I should say what we actually hey, like hey, talking hey, about. Hey, Drake what versus we, Michael Jackson was our number one watch segment. That is year. very uh, true. They but, like the culture segment. But we like talking about football, god damn it. That's right. It's not, maybe not what you want to hear, but it's what we want to talk about, and it's what you're going to hear. So sit down and eat your vegetables, little Jimmy. That was rude. Sorry. Apologies. But yeah, we, we like to fucking talk about football. We really do. Um, we're big football guys. We watch football all the fucking time, and Yo. we say it all the time. All the time. When the champagne poppies go up, they go up together. When they go down, they go down together. And last week... We it went up. It was, it was an, an up week, week right? We both um, came out on top. We both got wins. Um, you now advance to six and three on the season. I move up to seven, oh. seven and two on the season. So. so yeah, it sounds like that's a good race for the playoffs, but it's not because you now have a nice two game lead in your division to mm-hmm. take the number two seed as of now. Yep. One game above you and two games above me is our division leader, Team Cooper, who has advanced to a tremendous. Eight and one. Yep. So he has only one loss in a season. Who did he lose to, Marco? To Joseph Longo. Ouch, I'm a so, fucking dog, and I'm the Rams. Yeah. So <laughs> for real, you you beat all the big teams. Like you beat me. You're yeah. one of my. I beat you. I beat Miguel. I beat Adrian. Yep. Um, James is not necessarily a big team, but that was a good I, one I to grab. Think, I still think he makes a playoff. So I technically that, that sixth spot. We're gonna get to that race in a minute. Yeah, we will get to that. So. Cooper at the top of the league. I'm one game behind them, but honestly, it doesn't seem like because I don't expect myself to lose for the rest of the season. Except until I actually I play Coop, so I'm gonna be his second loss. You two play each other, I believe. Me and you play each other. I don't know. I actually don't know that. I know me. I know I play Coop week eleven. Okay. Um. So that's two weeks out, and by then I will have my team back at full strength. Yeah. So you had George Kittle came come back this week. George Kittle. How about you talk? Hey, you know what? Let's start with you and your week. I feel like we start with me a lot. Let's start okay, with you. Okay, I had okay, an intense okay. week. So, I had a pretty intense week for the simple fact that, not because of my opponent, I played Robert. Robert was originally www.blackedraw. Uh-huh. And, and as after of this week, yep, what's as his of, name? His name is Free Win Here. Why did he change his name to that, Joseph? Well, it's been nine weeks of NFL football, nine weeks of fantasy football, and Robert has managed no wins. Yeah, how the fuck do you go nine weeks of fantasy football and zero wins? He's 0-9. Fun fact. Mm-hmm. Going into Monday night, he had a two-point lead on you. Yeah. But you still had Chase Claypool, which obviously after the first drive of the game, you won. Yep. That was the second time this year that Robert went into Monday with any chance of winning. Really? So he's he's had two chances this whole year to win. Uh-huh. And he's blown technically both of them. The other one was when Adrian needed one catch from Dawson Knox. Yeah. Okay. So there's every other time he is guaranteed loss, guaranteed out by Sunday night. Wow. Well, I mean, shit, that's I mean, that tells you everything you need to know about Robert. So it should have been a walk in the park, especially for somebody yes. with my team. However, I faced a few challenges last week. What happened? And Rogers, my guy, was a liar. He wasn't vaxxed and he had a he fucking supports sit a out. liar, what a dickhead. He fucking had to sit out, so I had to pick up Kirk Cousins, who was the Star for my team last week. Like, he was the biggest. He put up the most points. Um, Chase Edmonds went down in the first quarter. Um, Soft. Devontae Adams, because Aaron Rodgers is out, didn't put up points. DK Metcalf was on a bye week, so I had to put in Chase Claypool and Cole Beasley. Both of them. George Kittle came back, but I wasn't sure about how he was going to perform. So you benched him. So I, he was on my bench, though, and I put Jared Cook in instead. Yeah. But George Kittle went off with 20 points at one point. He did, which you should feel good about getting so the So I do feel good about him back. So I beat, Ro- I beat Robert last week on a very down week for my team. It was a down week in fantasy football. It was a down week for football in general. I mean, we'll talk about... It was a weird about, week. Yeah, it was weird. Well, yeah, we'll get to that when we talk about the pick'ems. Um, but, but we had a bunch of games that a lot of people were scoring under 100, which yeah. in our league, if usually if you score under 100, you're one of two people maybe who score under 100. Yep, Robert and who's the other one? If someone just has an off week, oh, yeah. like sometimes it's me, sometimes it's Adrian, sometimes you know, you just have yeah. an off week. So I mean, that's a good transition into your game. Yeah. So me and Adrian had um, just a disgusting game, and by that I mean like both you guys of us, were the Bills Jaguars. In terms of score, yes, I was gonna say don't call me the Jaguars. No, 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 no. But no, not in terms of team, but in terms of score. So he had Kyler Murray. So for a while there, I thought he was gonna forget and fuck that up, but he ended up picking up Jimmy Garoppolo was. His best player, much like how you picked up Kirk Cousins, dropped 20. Zeke, 13. That was his next best. And then everyone else scored under 10 for him. Yeah. I had three players go over 10, four players. One of them was Eckler, who 
Shout out, tried and true. Yep. Aaron Jones is pissing me off. Mm-hmm. Josh Allen. Uh, Jacoby Myers did nothing. We're going to go over that Josh Allen because I'm done talking about that. I, I, that. That was a bad week. Everyone knows it was a bad week. Josh, Jacoby Myers, whatever. Uh, Tyler Higby mm-hmm. scores a touchdown. Oh, no, he didn't. Just a bunch of catches. Christian Kirk, thank you for that. I'm, I'm pretty sure you told me they put him in this week. Yeah, Christian Kirk's a dog. And then, I like him. for everyone back home, I have won a couple games on Monday nights. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's like two or three Ooh. years ago. I had the Aaron Jones. Yeah. For the first time in my fantasy career. Yeah, this was fucking hype. I'm I was lie. down by... One and a half. Four points. and a half points. Four and a half points. So I needed... All I had oh, left we, was the Bears. Chicago Bears. The Bears defense. Yep. All I needed was five points from them. And at one point in the game, they were down so to three. Yeah. Meaning I was losing... But I'm like, oh, they get another sack, they get a pick. Boom, I'm right back in this motherfucker. Yep. And then what happens? And then me and Marco are sitting on the couch, Monday Night Football. Ball gets punted, caught. And then some crazy shit happens where, like, the guy looks like he's down, but the ball pops out, so the Bears pick it up and they score. And me and you are going fucking Bro, berserk. We went fucking eight That shit. was by far the most lit I've ever gotten for fantasy football. I was going to say, I don't think we've ever gotten any lit that lit for any football game, period, dude. Like, I will keep it real with you. There was when Najee scored a touchdown and Gibby was here. We got lit for that. Really? Well, I think you were here. I think he like caught a screen pass. It was his first NFL touchdown. Give me happened to be. Yeah, here. it was. Here, and we were like, hey, but it's more of like a hey. That was a real. <gasps> Bro, yes. I ran on the uh, balcony. Our neighbor came and like. Oh yeah, was that like, was what happened? Cool. What happened? Dude, like it was we, that loud. We were yelling so fucking loud because obviously, so obviously he's a Bears fan. I'm not a Bears nah, fan, but Bears. like, like I was rooting for the Bears defense because I wanted him to win his matchup because that helps me directly. A- yeah. Like me AJ taking down out. Adrian helps yeah. you, and so. Right, we were there both. Like I was stressing for it. I was like, damn, he's down by one point right now because the Bears defense. And then ball pops out, Bears pick it up, run it in for a touchdown, and me and you just and instantly just. Oh, that's oh, fucking so and and then his neighbor, players. shout out Rudy, if you're watching this, um, his name's Rudy. Yeah. Um, he pops in. And he's like, he's like, no, 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 is it the Bears game? He's like, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm busy doing something right now, and I heard you guys yelling, and I wanted to know if it was a Bears game. Like, just random as fuck, he just walks in, and he's like, yeah, the fucking Bears, like, just scored. He's like, let's fucking go. Like, that was lit. That was... That was lit. Interesting. That was that was cool. That was fun. It was the first time I've ever had to rely on a defense on Monday night to get me a win. Yeah. But there was a point where when they got to about 5-4, and they like, were, like, tying it and then losing and all that, I looked at you, and I was like, bro... One touchdown and it's over. Mm-hmm. Cause a couple play a couple drives before that, Jakeem Grant yeah. almost took a kickoff to the house before getting rocked and fumbling. Yeah. So like I was like, yo, if he would have taken that ball game, we did. You boom, did. that shit happened. Oh my goodness. That was a crazy feeling. Like honestly, that was, I was super hyped for you because you won. Like that play won you the game. That play won me the week. They got oh, thirteen yeah. and were the second highest scoring player on my team behind Christian Kirk. Yep. Um, I picked them up off the waivers last week, played them this week, and it absolutely paid off. Yep, I'm glad to see that. So now looking forward, um, our playoff race gets interesting. Wait, 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 wait. I am fucking number one in the final standing projections. Oh, yeah, I went from 10 to 1. Let's fucking go. I was 10 on after the draft, dropped down to 12 on draft day because of fucking... Uh, Herb Smith Jr. getting injured. Oh, Herb Smith Jr., yeah. So I dropped down to last place in our league, and as of week motherfucking 10, Joe Long was number one. Projected number one. I love to see that shit. Yeah, but I'm, not, I'm third place. Hey, third both place. of us have at one point in the season been projected number one now. That's where we should be. Love to see that shit happen. So now moving, looking forward. Um, Cooper, I think it's safe to say he's cemented his playoff spot. Like, he, I think if he loses the rest, like, if he loses out, which he's not going to. He he'd still be, makes the playoff. He'd be eight and seven, and he that would only take like yeah. He's two three games away from. He's about two weeks away from officially. He wouldn't be eight and seven because think about it, there's only 13, 14 weeks in the fantasy football. Also eight and six. Yeah. So he's this week could be potentially a week where he clinches because if he wins and all these four lost teams lose. Yeah. So and so that's that's the point I was getting to. So in my division, I am sitting at the number one seed in my division that. G. Well, Seven and two, right? G. But then underneath me, Adrian and Jason are tied at five and four. And then James, Gibby, and Saul are all at four and five. One game within each other. Right. 
So the way our playoffs work, mm-hmm. for reminding people back home, is the winner from each division gets a bye week. So as of right now, Miguel's number one, you're number two. Mm-hmm. Then it's the next four teams in. I have the nice luxury of being the only six and three team alive. Yep. So I'm currently comfortable in that three seed. The four, five, and six seed are all five and four. But the seven, eight, and nine seeds are all four and five. Yeah, so our playoff race is getting fucking hectic right now. Crazy. Because I every, anybody on a given Crazy. week can win in our league. Like I, I don't think we've said this all year long, but I don't. I've never seen a fantasy league crazy in ours. No, I've never seen a fantasy league crazy in ours. And the craziest part is, is I'm also potentially getting my first winless team. So there's a lot of benchmark. I've never seen a number one trick, uh, number one pick get traded. I've never seen a winless team. I've never seen the amount of. I've never seen a Saul like comeback. A couple yeah. weeks ago, I've never seen a team have as good of sun, uh, Monday nights as I have this. The amount of luckily. trades that have gone on in our there's league. at least two trades a week. Yeah, every it's week it's insane. Just, somebody just traded something uh, earlier this week, didn't they? Uh, 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 I oh, this was yeah. Yeah, something happened. Earlier today, earlier today, Carson, Carson, Carson wants to take some hill, which is weird, but <laughs> fuck it, go crazy. I don't know. But yeah. The league is looking nutty. We've yeah. been calling it this is a crazy league. If you've been keeping up with this league, you probably know it's crazy. And I'm riding with the Titans defense this week. That's a big decision for me every week. Now you're going to get to know my defenses. Wow. So every week you just have a new defense? That's what I always do. All right, nice. Fuck with it. Unless like, I pick up a defense who goes on like a nice stretch. I have the Bucks. The Bucks have been nice. Titans against New Orleans. I'm pretty chilly. I've been trying to find me real. Wow, wow. Silly, yo. I be gone like Cheerios.